it's Rev, and we are here in Harrington Harbor North in Deal, Maryland. Now, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, we crossed our wake in Baltimore, and now we are south. We took two trips, actually, without videoing anything. It was quite uh, an interesting ride. It felt like something was missing because we had taken you through um, two on so many trips with us. But anyway, here we are. We are leaving today. It's August 19th and we are in the Chesapeake. So this typically isn't a looper time because our plans when we first got here is we were going to sell the here's to us and then we start crying and then we decided not to <laughs> we were also <laughs> going to put put her up in uh storage they have um a whole giant boat yard that they have put boats up in and people store their boats a lot of boats can be stored up here on, in this area so we decided not to do that even we're going to move up to Brewerton and put the here's to us into winter storage so we are moving on we didn't plan this but we're doing it leaving our home for the last couple of months. Harrington Harbor North is a really great place to stay. If you are in the Chesapeake and need a place, we highly recommend this. Right down from our slip is their do-it-yourself pump-out stations. Very convenient for us. We just drag the boat from down there <laughs> over here. We we're able to pump out. Nice long dock here on the outside. If you happen to be in the area, it's also, if you need boat work done, a really great place to get that done too. Some of you are worried about what you are going to do when you're underway. I mean, that we have 75 miles to go today. That is a long trip. I can't even believe how big this thing is. And this GoPro camera is not going to do it justice. But, uh, wow. There are so many ships around here hanging out before the Bay Bridge that's right there in the distance. So we're passing Annapolis. I don't know if you can see that. This is quite the place. I love it. we've been underway um, flip it around here this is a very important thing that you have because depending on your boat I mean if your um, bridge is all in uh, open then and you have a lot of wind coming through you probably won't need a fan but uh, you know I need a fan anyway my calendar there is going over some things Sitting right here, I can see what's going on out there. We're on, you know, in the Chesapeake Bay right now. We just passed Annapolis. In fact, we just went under the Bay Bridge, if you can see that back there in the distance. 
little boat coming up on us quickly. So, you know, here's my setup. Right now I'm working on our newsletter. If you go to our website, whatyachttodo.com, well, I'll just show it to you right here. You can sign up. There is a red button right here. It's loading a little slowly. Right now I am hooked to my phone using that as a Wi-Fi. So you can see it's not so great right now, but there is a red button right there. It'll show up in a minute. And you can sign up. We have a lot of free boating goodies. Now you don't even have to be um, doing the loop to take advantage of the free gifts that we give away and then we introduce you to our products that we have so i'll come back to that still loading but right now i'm working on our newsletter we go we put a newsletter out every fifth and 20th of the month now that could change in the future in the past we used to do a newsletter every sunday and it was just too much so we knocked it down to twice a month we um we put a newsletter out there and that's still loading so we'll come back to that um you can see i've got you know my school supplies here i have a couple of external drives and if you decide to do a youtube video and or even a blog my laptop doesn't hold a lot of data so i have two external drives you see a black one and a blue one in that just because video files are really um you know big you see that sign me up right there just go to whatyachttodo.com sign up for our newsletter i've got i got a new camera i love it i do need to call my brother-in-law to see uh it's uh zooming in while I'm videoing and I don't know how to fix that issue. Oh, I uh, brought my nail stuff up. I did cut my fingernails and um, I have been known to paint my nails underway, my fingernails and my toenails, when it's really flat. Now, the water in the Chesapeake, it's unpredictable, so I don't really want to paint my nails underway, but you know, those are the kind of things that I do whenever we are moving along. Hey, what's going on? Hey, uh, I got a question about, hey, what's a good way to convert Celsius to a Fahrenheit mm. as far as temperature goes? And uh, one of the things that I use to find, because most countries use Celsius. There's only about four or five countries that use Fahrenheit. So the actual formula here is on my whiteboard, <laughs> is centigrade times 1.8 plus 32 equals Fahrenheit. Now, 1.8, can't do that in your head. Certainly you can do this other little trick here is centigrade times two plus 30 equals approximates Fahrenheit. But here's a better way, if you don't want to do math, just memorize a couple places on the scale where they are. And we all know pretty much that, hey, look at this. Zero is 32 degrees. Well, 10 is 50. Oh, and if we go up here and we do the math, 10, 1.8 plus 32, that, that proves that this formula is right. Now here's one that's used in aviation a lot for standard atmospheric conditions so i know that one pretty good i mean that's 15 is 59 i like this one because 16 just reverse it it's 61 and then there's a 20 which is pretty much room temperature 68 the next one i like is 28 28 reverse that is 82 and then you got 30 is 86 so hey 20 30 68, 86. So you can start to remember some of these. And then this is really too hot. 40, but that's 104. And you can see the 0, 4 here just kind of reverse that. So you can memorize some of that stuff. Now, if you have to go the other way, the formula is right there. Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 1.8 or Fahrenheit minus 30 divided by 2 equals 
centigrade or Celsius. That's the way you do it. Hey, what's a boat trip without some math, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, this was the first day of our third loop. Technically. If we're going to do a third loop, we still haven't decided yet. Yeah, and we, third time here at this little harbor, the first time, uh, as you remember, we stayed on the wall. The second time we stayed here, had a good time. And third time, we are kind of, we're, it's an emotional time for us because, hey, it's third time here. And are we going to do a third loop? Are we not? What does the future hold for what you ought to do? We don't know, but we do know we like being back on the water, sharing our trip with you. Mm -hmm.